Reserve Golf Club here in Carmel Valley. I've been lucky enough to be playing in the Member Pro here today and I've also been lucky enough to avoid this fairy bunker here on the tricky 18th. But if I happen to be in this fairy bunker, I'm going to help you with some tips that I use myself when I'm in these uh, pesky little bunkers. So first of all, you can see it's a pretty shallow bunker. Shallow meaning that it's not like a greenside bunker where the lip is really high. So I could really take, um, I could probably get one of my hybrids onto it, maybe even a, a high lofted fairway wood, but today I'm going to be fairly conservative and take my six iron. So one of the main things to do with a fairway bunker, okay, first of all, I'm taking a wide stance, very similar to the greenside bunker, but I'm taking a wide stance for the fairway bunker to keep the legs out of it. The legs are not involved in this motion, okay? The ball position is going to be a little bit further back than definitely a greenside bunker, but almost in the middle of your stance. And I'm going to keep my weight a little bit forward, but what I'm trying to do here, unlike the greenside bunker, is I'm trying to take that ball thin. I'm trying to hit the leading edge of the club into the equator of the ball. And it's really just like an arms and hands swing. Let me see if I can show you one here. So I'm all set up here, taking a couple of waggles. I'm gripping down to the club too. And I'm just trying to make solid contact. Okay, and that's exactly what I wanted to do there. I thinned it very little sand, see that? So when you're in the fairy bunkers, remember, analyze the shot if it's lying fairly flat and clean, take something that's gonna advance you down the fairway quite a fair bit. You know, just because you're in a bunker, doesn't mean to say you have to take your sandwich out. Be, you analyze the situation, six iron, high lofted club, key points, nice and wide, just to keep the legs out of it really. We don't want the legs to be in it, we want the ball to be more middle of the stance, and we're trying to take the, club, the ball thin. Basically, it's just an arms and hands little punch shot. And always with these difficult shots, make sure you're staying with it. Don't peak too early. If you, don't, if you peak too early, you won't like what you see. Okay, that's it from Molly and me today at the beautiful preserve. Have a great weekend.